Well, how do that, chums? Tis I, Captain of Vestige, and today, chums, got myself a gnarly cup of tea. Heck, yes, I have. I'm going to be talking about No Man's Sky. We're going back in the past a little bit to October 2018, where Hello Games did something quite exciting, which I really hope they revisit and do again. So let's jump on over and I'll show you what I mean. Chicka pow! Here I am on the Tinter Webs, people. Heck, yes, I am. So yeah. Gnarly time. Okay, well, here we are. Sean Murray on October 14th, 2018, put out this link. Help us shape the future of No Man's Sky. Tell us what you think. That's freaking community interaction right there, people. You click this link and it fires up this lovely survey. Heck yes, it does. And there's a prize to be given at the end. I don't know what it was. Don't know what it was. Anyway, hit start. Now... This link still works, funny enough, and it's a type form. I've never heard of type form before, but it's a bit like Survey Monkey, but a lot more awesome. So here you go, you can choose what platform you're on, and you move on. You say how many hours you've got in game, when you started playing from, so yeah, I pre-ordered. What mode you like the most? I would select Relaxed, it's not there. And this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. So you say what you like doing, etc. inside of game. Yeah, I like you know, yeah, exploring, blah de blah and then, what have you achieved? Well, I've achieved all of these, my friend. Yes, I've been very active in your game. Boom! And then, what do you enjoy? And then this bit here. This is it. Which of these features would you like to see the most? Now, Hello Games done every single one of these. So this form was just to say what order you would like to see them. Well, that's what they used it for. So they used this to sort of put out there the stuff. So, for instance... Stranger, more varied planets. Well, they put those in. They were the trophy planets that we got. All those weird, exotic -y, biome -y type ones. Polish of existing features. Well, they did that in a lot of updates, like, you know, Synthesis, Prism, so forth and so on. Larger multiplayer lobbies. Well, they introduced that inside of the next gen update. They actually put it up to 32 player lobbies. However, or well, they did inside the patch notes, but it wasn't actually realised on the next-gen platforms. On PC, you could go up to 32-player lobbies, but now that's been reduced to 16, with no mention of that inside of the patch notes. Nobody can get over the 16. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, though, but multiplayer seems severely broken right now. More depth and variety in NPCs. Well, they did that, too. They then started walking around inside of the old stations and stuff, too. Quality of life improvements, again, within Synthesis and places like that, and um, other updates they put in those and they still do even on fractal they put in a lot of quality life improvements replace orbs with full character models so this was even before next <laughs> vr support so before beyond and yeah more base building depth which they did they delivered that in spades and, and quite a lot of updates massively in frontiers enhancements to underwater exploration exploration well they did that with the abyss didn't they Anyway, so this is... You can carry on filling out this form. There's loads of other questions as well. I mean, look, I'll just click OK there. Actually, just choose one. There you go. More... Whatever. And it moves on. And you can you can just hit up loads of different options inside of this form. And that would give Hello Games so much more meaningful data. So I really don't know why I haven't moved into this sort of way of doing things year on year. It'd be nice to get this list, wouldn't it? Around Christmas time of each year. I'm thinking maybe just after the big summer up update if we get one you know end of october time when they start winding down and start putting down tools maybe even late november so at least we've got something over december and january as well as maybe the reduxes of the expeditions maybe we've got this sort of stuff out there so at least we can speculate on stuff that'd be pretty darn freaking cool or at least i feel it'd be pretty darn cool sound off in the comments let us know what you think do you think this will be better than having a singular emoji now the reason i'm saying that is Beeble done a really good video the other day about the emoji. And, you know, they are running out of emojis to use. Even Sean Murray has touched on that himself, and so has uh, Tim Woolley of Hello Games. But yeah, I'll put Beeble's video just up here. Go click that, because watching that, I think, gives you a little bit of insight into why I've made this video. Plus, also, I made a video a few days ago now where I ranted a little about, um, I say a little, a lot, about Fractal and the way that Fractal, for me, would have been more sense to the algorithm. And also, they use triangles inside of the uh, Fractal 
header of the actual update, which sort of implies that maybe they might have looked towards the realm of glass, considering that Sentinels have shields of the triangles made out of triangles, and the glitch separator trail I use is made out of triangles. Anyway, if you want to see that rant video, I'll put that up there as well. Go click that too. And then if you watch my video and then Beeble's video or Beeble's video, then my video, you'll just get to see two different takes of the same sort of thing. But I think this survey answers both of those. It's going to give us something to speculate on that's in the realms of what Hello Games would like to put into the game and is already planning to put into the game to so stop speculation going off the rails. It's okay having a hype train, but I think you need rails to put it on. I don't think a singular emoji is doing that all too well anymore, and neither does Beeble. And I've seen other people putting up videos like Professor Cynical and others inside of the verse. Kanadju's done one too, saying, you know, you've got to keep your expectations in check, and I totally agree with them. So yeah, let's uh, pop on back on over into my actual reaction cam because I've made my own roadmap. <laughs> yes, I've been in the old Photoshop and I put together my own little roadmap. Heck yes. So this is what I'd love to see on a roadmap. I mean, sound off or make your own. Heck yeah, that'd be cool. Ship perks and missions. Station override. Oh yes, yeah, so ship perks and missions. So ship perks. Think of the explorer ship. Okay, Sh explorer ship. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But it hasn't really got any perks over the other ships, like a shuttle or a hauler. It's like it's like a shuttle. Maybe you could pick up taxi missions to taxi somebody from A to B or something like that. Uh, where fighters, you can run more bounty missions. Explorers, more exploration missions. They're the missions. But the perks, the explorer. You know, like inside of your freighter, you've got that desk now that when you hit it up, it scans all the planets in the system and it puts them all as completely scanned beforehand. Maybe the Explorer could have that ability off the quick menu, you know? A little bit like how you search for trading posts. There's also one to scan system. Boom. Scans the whole system. That'd be cool. There's a ship perk. Shuttles as a ship perk. I've already said about the mission, taxiing people. But as a ship perk, it'd be nice to be able to use it as a mobile scrapper. So if you cool down your shuttle next to a crashed ship, it'd be nice if you've got the option off your quick menu from your shuttle to scrap that ship that's crashed. Instead of claiming it and having to fly it all the way up to the station, especially if you haven't got a free ship slot, using a shuttle to scrap it right there and then would be an awesome ship perk. Everybody might have a shuttle to f in, a, in a slot so they can still do ship hunting for crashed ships and scrap them. I think that'd be cool as a ship perk. I think that one's desperately needed, to be honest. Anyway, station override functionality. I mean, it's been teased in game for freaking ages. Now, you hit up a station at the moment, even with a legit freaking station override that you can get from missions in pirate systems. Hit that up, and it says glass, 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 which takes us on to the next one. <laughs> World of glass. I would like to see that realised into game, rather than it just be text. It'd be nice to be able to go into the realm of glass, even if it's like for 16 minutes or something. 16, 16, 16, glass, 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 glass. Go in there and maybe get some tech, awesome tech for your multi-tool or whatever. Stuff that you can't get in the normal verse. It could be a parallel dimension. And it's where the sentinels spawn in from, so maybe we can get some sentinelized weaponry technology and things like that. That would be pretty darn freaking epic as some sort of loot run that we can do. Maybe it's a raid that opens up weekly, or maybe you can run it once a day, like a derelict sort of thing. I don't know, whatever. World of Glass would be lovely. And if it's procedurally generated, even more lovely. Anyway. Ariadne story path, just like the Artemis storyline, you know, Artemis went missing in between portals, perhaps into the realm of glass. Ariadne went missing, said to be in the darkness between worlds in, into the void or perhaps the realm of glass. I mean, <laughs> Ariadne's code appears or name appears down at Sent Sentinel Pillars, which have only just been added in. Uh, which is a bit odd. Maybe she's stuck in the realm of glass. But anyway, the Ariadne we've got inside of the station right now is an imposter, a doppelganger. Hardly any new players will know this, because it was introduced in a story arc that happened on weekends during 2019 or 2020. It was written in by an actual person that writes books called Greg Buchanan, and it was beautifully done, and I would like to see that resurrected as a story arc, almost like the Artemis questline, chucked into game for all players to actually enjoy, so everybody knows that she's a doppelganger, and maybe add in an ending, perhaps going into the realm of glass to rescue her. That'd be nice! Anyway, weekend mission overhaul, and the the moment it's just a repeat of the current missions that we've currently got i'd like to see those overhauled and maybe bring back like the missions that we had previous maybe bring greg back if you can <laughs> that'd be nice anyway oh, oh i zoomed in there i zoomed in fudge down okay and it won't let me just unzoom freaking unzoom no wrong wrong way oh fudging heck 
it's just going the now this has gone tits up hasn't it well there we go <laughs> zoomed out again lovely one more in okay that freaking do right multiplayer custom lobbies well, at the moment, if you go to run the weekend mission, sometimes when you've got like your own fire team, you've got your three friends with you, four in total, you go to run the mission and somebody else is holding it open and you can't progress it. It's a real pain. I really hope that what they do is give us a mission initiator for either our um, freighters or our bases. So if you've got your team, rather than having to go into the Nexus and contend with all the other multiplayers, it's just run it from your freighter or run it from a base of your choosing with your mates. And that gets rid of that problem, you know? Excellent. Go on. Okay, settlement overhaul. So settlements, at the moment, you're an overseer of a settlement where you're not really an overseer. You don't really care about your NPCs. They've got message bubbles above their head saying, oh, woe is life, or whatever. You go over to them to try and help them with their woes. They don't give you a mission. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't interact with them. The buildings that we've got there, the only one I go in is the saloon because it's got funky music. Um, the marketplace, from time to time, to sell things or buy things. And also the overseer's station. It'd be nice to have maybe a geologist there that you can take him all the scans of all the rocks and things, maybe get some nanites or run a certain mission for him. Or um, there's a flora ex um, guy there and a fauna one. So three of those would be nice, those sort of three buildings. And scanning stuff actually delivers stuff to your um, settlement. So they might say, well, you've scanned this many rocks and now we can do gold if you want to do gold or we can do platinum or something, you know? That sort of thing. And maybe you could choose your trade commodities that your settlement specialises in. Myself, you know that silicate powder you get from using a terrain manipulator? Well, I hate doing that near my bases because it increases the complexity and stuff. But you need it for a lot of your base parts. I would just like to have a settlement that specialises in silicate powder. Don't know. Uh, that's just me. Anyway, living ship tech and modules. So living ships have been... They've given, been given a bit of love recently. We can now expand their slottage, and we've got some tech, like scanners now. But what they haven't given us is any weaponry for these things. At the moment, our other ships have got positron ejectors and rocket launchers and all sorts of stuff. The living ship has just got photon cannons and lasers. That's about it, phase beams. It'd be nice if they got some living weapons, so maybe some sort of boogers that fire out the front end of it that stick to the actual shields of ships and dissolve their, their actual shields and then dissolve their hull. Uh, in, unless they use a recharge or something which knocks them off, you know? That would be pretty cool, you know? Or even maybe some sort of frack, frack grenade that comes out the back end of it and it farts out and it actually makes a fart noise. <laughs> That'd be cool! And it's got a frack grenade that blows up behind and takes out any ships behind you. That'd be cool. You know, make some living ship tech and make it fun. Make the living ships usable in a fun, comedic sort of way, but actually gives them an organic use. I mean, yeah. Nobody flies in their living ship. They look like blinking lampshades from Ikea, and then their weaponry isn't any good. So yeah, do something about that one, Hello Games. Lovely. Living ship technology modules. Put them on infested planets and give us some challenges. I mean, we get that vile spawn. Maybe we can use vile spawn to create some of these organic modules, you know? That'll make sense. Abandoned system use. So yes, inside of the Utopia expedition, we, we ran the expedition in an abandoned system. It'd be nice if we could maybe terraform planets or do something something to bring them back into work in order and maybe repair the station and bring the NPCs back into those systems. I know I'd do that inside of my own hub space if that was a thing. But yeah, more reason to go to abandoned systems. Hello games, that'll be cool. More varied planets. Yes, I know you've done this a few times. It's like inside of Origins, you added in swamp biomes and you added in lava biomes. But you go to one lava world, you've pretty much seen them all. They just change colour. And the swamp biomes, you've seen one. You've seen all of them. Doesn't matter. They don't even change colour, those ones. But it'd be nice if you added in actual plants on those two, like you have on other biomes. Add a bit more diversity into what spawns there. It's like on the swamp biomes. I know that you've done videos back in GDC 2015 of swamp biomes that had big sort of weird willow trees and foliage that hung down and little little ponds with with fog above them that looked so Dagobah bring that back put those in there mix up those freaking swamp biomes a bit more give a bit more extra variety to them and with the lava wells do something with those maybe even add in a tar and oil variant to those I mean oil now that you've got some of your watery sort of reflection -y type effects going they could look cool and tar could be quite awesome as well with tar bubbles and tar pits and stuff I don't know go to town 
I say go to town, it's not all that easy, is it? Especially since you're working on your new game. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> Maybe do, I don't know, some sort of ARG for that new game. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? I'd love to get on board with that early days. I missed out on the the first ARG for No Man's Sky. I watched L Plays and Cobra do it, but I didn't actually take part myself. But I would if you did one for a new game. Thank yes. More varied planets. So, yeah. Well, I, well, I just touched on that one. We just did that. So, there we go. That's the bottom of my wish list. What would your wish list look like? You know, uh, I, I, I put a blank one of these on Twitter and my one of these. And, you know, fill it out. Put it on. Tag Hello Games in it. And maybe they might think, you know what? Maybe we need to bring this back in. Because I think this is a fantastic idea. I think this is a far better idea than a singular emoji that speculation can run rampant on. At least if we get given this as well towards the end of the year after Hello Games have introduced everything. It gives us an idea of what's coming in the year coming. And it's almost like a Christmas holiday list, especially in a time of period where it's a bit lullish for the actual community. It gives everybody that likes to speculate something to speculate on where it's realistic and it's not going to overly stretch expectation perhaps because these little mini words say a heck of a lot more than a singular emoji. I know there's that saying a picture says more than a thousand words but an emoji doesn't, <laughs> okay? Especially when you actually call an update fractal and then it's got nothing to do with fractal math. I mean, come on, please. <laughs> you set us up for failure on that one. You really did. Anyway, people in the view of us, I need to drink this tea because I didn't even take a single sip. I've just been using my freaking larynx this whole time. I need a sip. Hold on. Mmm. That was well deserved. I'm going to drink the rest of this now, people. But yeah, sound off in the comments. Go mental. And yeah, I'm... Inside the video description, I put a link to the Twitter post that I create. It's got a blank one of these forms and this form here that you've seen in this video. And if you want, download it, put your own ideas into it and put it back on Twitter. Tag me in it, tag Hello Games in it. I'd love to see what you come up with. I may even do a video on it or something. Who knows? Anyway, people, take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.